In the world of engineering and scientific research, understanding how different phases interact is paramount. Multi-phase flows, where two or more distinct phases coexist, are ubiquitous. They appear in natural phenomena like rain clouds and ocean waves, and in man-made systems like power plants and industrial processes. Analyzing these complex interactions often requires sophisticated computational tools. This is where multi-phase simulations come into play. They provide a virtual window into these intricate processes, allowing researchers and engineers to predict and optimize system behavior. The discrete phase model, as its name suggests, adopts a discrete approach to representing one of the phases in a multi-phase flow. This is in contrast to treating all phases as continuous media. In DPM, the continuous phase, typically a fluid, is solved using the conventional Eulerian approach. This method analyzes the flow field at fixed points in space. The dispersed phase, which could be particles, droplets or bubbles, is handled differently. At the heart of the discrete phase model, DPM, lies a fundamental distinction in how the two phases are represented. The continuous phase, often a liquid or gas, is treated as a continuum. Imagine a flowing river, we don't track every single water molecule, instead we analyze the overall flow patterns, velocity and pressure. This is the essence of the Eulerian approach used for the continuous phase in DPM. It provides a macroscopic view of the fluid flow. Imagine a tiny droplet of water suspended in a gentle breeze. What forces govern its motion? In the world of DPM, understanding these forces is paramount to accurately predicting particle trajectories. The most prominent force is often drag. As the droplet moves through the air, it experiences resistance, a force pushing back, trying to equalize its speed with the surrounding airflow. This drag force is directly proportional to the difference between the particle's velocity and the fluid's velocity. Section 3, The Dance of Phases, Understanding Coupling. In the intricate choreography of multiphase flows, the continuous and dispersed phases are not isolated dancers. They influence each other, creating a dynamic interplay. This interplay is at the heart of coupling in DPM. The simplest form is one-way coupling. Imagine a leaf falling from a tree on a windless day. The leaf's descent is influenced by gravity and air resistance, but its presence hardly affects the surrounding air. Similarly, in one-way coupling, the continuous phase affects the particle's motion, but the particle's influence on the fluid flow is negligible. Section 1. Mapping the journey, calculating particle trajectories. Imagine a lone dandelion seed being carried by the wind. Its path, a delicate dance between gravity and air resistance, is unpredictable yet mesmerizing. In the realm of DPM simulations, we aim to predict such intricate journeys of individual particles. This prediction relies on calculating the particle trajectory, the path it takes as it travels through the continuous phase. Think of it as mapping the journey of our dandelion seed, accounting for all the forces shaping its flight. As section two, beyond drag and gravity, accounting for additional forces. While drag and gravity are often the dominant forces shaping a particle's journey, the real world is rarely so simple. Other forces, often subtle yet significant, can influence the particle's motion, adding complexity to our trajectory calculations. Imagine our dandelion seed encountering a thermal updraft. Suddenly, a new force comes into play, altering its previously predictable descent. Section 1. The interplay of phases understanding coupling in DPM. Imagine a lone feather drifting on a gentle breeze. The air's movement dictates the feather's path, carrying it along its invisible currents. This simple interaction exemplifies the concept of coupling in multi-phase flows, where two distinct phases, in this case air and the feather, influence each other's behavior. In the realm of discrete phase modeling, understanding and accurately representing this coupling is crucial for obtaining realistic simulations. DPM simulations involve two primary players, the continuous phase, typically a fluid like air or water, and the dispersed phase, 
consisting of particles, droplets, or bubbles. Coupling refers to the extent to which these phases interact and influence each other. This influence can be one-sided, where one phase dictates the other's behavior without being significantly affected in return, or it can be a two-way street with both phases mutually influencing each other. Section two, one-way coupling. When the continuous phase takes the lead, imagine a leaf falling from a tree on a calm day. The leaf's descent is governed by gravity and the resistance it encounters from the air. The air, however, remains largely unaffected by the leaf's presence. This scenario exemplifies one-way coupling in DPM, where the continuous phase influences the dispersed phase's motion. But the dispersed phase has a negligible impact on the continuous phase. Section 3, Two-Way Coupling, a symphony of mutual influence. Imagine a flock of birds flying in formation. Each bird's movement influences the surrounding air, creating swirling vortices and pressure changes. These disturbances, in turn, affect the flight path of other birds in the flock, leading to a complex dance of mutual influence. Section 1, Setting the Stage Defining Particle Injections. Imagine a stage set for a grand performance with actors poised to enter from various points, each with a specific role to play. Similarly, setting up a DPM simulation in ANSYS Fluent begins with defining how particles are introduced into the computational domain. This crucial step, known as defining particle injections, sets the initial conditions for our dispersed phase actors. Just as an actor's entry point and initial movement influence their performance, particle injections significantly impact their subsequent behavior and interaction with the continuous phase. Section two, embracing randomness, modeling particle dispersion. In the real world, particles rarely follow perfectly predictable paths. Think of dust motes dancing in a sunbeam, their seemingly random movements driven by collisions with invisible air molecules. This inherent randomness, a hallmark of turbulent flows, plays a crucial role in particle dispersion, the process by which particles spread out within the continuous phase. Capturing this turbulent dispersion accurately is essential for realistic DPM simulations, as it significantly impacts particle transport, mixing, and interaction with surrounding surfaces. Section 3. Boundaries of Interaction, DPM Boundary Conditions. Imagine a basketball court, the boundaries dictating how the game unfolds. Players dribble within the lines, shoot for the basket, and the ball bounces off the backboard. Similarly, in DPM simulations, boundary conditions define how particles interact with the edges of our computational domain. Section four, tracking the journey DPM tracking parameters. Imagine following the intricate flight path of a butterfly, its wings tracing elegant patterns in the air. In DPM simulations, we embark on a similar journey, tracking the trajectories of countless particles as they navigate through the continuous phase. This tracking process, however, requires careful consideration of various numerical parameters that govern the accuracy and stability of our calculations. These parameters, analogous to the precision of our butterfly tracking instruments, determine the fidelity with which we capture the particle's intricate dance. Section 1. Navigating Steady State Simulations, Coupling Strategies. Imagine a dance duo, their movements perfectly synchronized, each step influencing the next. In steady state DPM simulations, we strive for a similar harmony between the continuous and dispersed phases. This harmonious interplay is achieved through careful selection of coupling strategies, which dictate how frequently we exchange information between the two phases. Section two. Tackling unsteady flows, time-accurate approaches. Imagine a leaf caught in a gusty wind, its path a whirlwind of unpredictable twists and turns. Simulating unsteady multi-phase flows where the flow field changes over time presents similar challenges. Unlike their steady-state counterparts, these simulations require a keen eye for temporal accuracy, ensuring we capture the transient behavior of both the continuous and dispersed phases.
Section 1. Heat and Mass Transfer, bridging the thermal and compositional divide. Imagine a droplet of water evaporating as it falls through warm air. The droplet shrinks, its temperature drops, and the surrounding air gains moisture. This intricate interplay between heat and mass transfer is a hallmark of many multiphase flows, from spray drying to cloud formation. Section 2. Drag models beyond the spherical ideal. In the idealized world of introductory physics, objects are often treated as point masses or perfect spheres, simplifying calculations. However, the real world is rarely so accommodating. Particles come in all shapes and sizes, from the smooth sphericity of tiny water droplets to the jagged irregularity of dust particles. Section 3. Numerical methods for particle tracking choosing the right path. Imagine tracing the intricate path of a firefly on a summer night. Each blink reveals a new position, the firefly's trajectory a sequence of discrete jumps. In DPM simulations we face a similar challenge, tracking the motion of countless particles as they navigate through the continuous phase. Ensuring simulation. Fidelity, practical considerations for DPM. Embarking on a DPM simulation is akin to setting sail on an intricate voyage. While the destination might be clear, accurate and insightful results, navigating the complexities of multiphase flows requires careful attention to detail and adherence to best practices. These practices, akin to a seasoned captain's navigational charts, help ensure our simulations stay on course, avoiding the pitfalls of unrealistic assumptions and inaccurate predictions. Section 2. Optimizing DPM Simulations Balancing Accuracy and Efficiency In the realm of DPM simulations, achieving both accuracy and efficiency is a delicate balancing act, akin to optimizing a ship's route for the fastest journey while minimizing fuel consumption. While increasing the fidelity of our simulations, like using more particle streams or smaller time steps, generally improves accuracy, it often comes at the cost of increased computational time. Therefore, striking a balance between these competing demands is crucial for conducting practical and insightful simulations. Section 1. Recognizing the boundaries limitations of the discrete phase model. The discrete phase model, like any powerful tool, has its limitations. It's crucial to recognize these boundaries to avoid misinterpreting results or applying the model beyond its intended scope. Imagine using a magnifying glass to study a distant galaxy. While the magnifying glass excels at revealing fine details up close, it's not the right tool for exploring the vastness of space. Section 2. Exploring alternative seas, multiphase models beyond DPM. Just as a ship's captain might choose a different vessel for navigating a narrow river versus crossing a vast ocean, engineers and scientists have a fleet of multiphase models at their disposal, each suited for different flow regimes and complexities. When the limitations of the discrete phase model become apparent, it's time to explore these alternative seas, seeking models that better capture the intricacies of the multiphase flow at hand. For dense particle flows, where particle-particle interactions dominate, the Eulerian-Eulerian model, often called the two-fluid model, provides a viable alternative. Section 1. DPM in action from industrial processes to scientific discoveries. The discrete phase model, with its ability to simulate the intricate dance of particles in a continuous flow, has become an indispensable tool across a wide range of disciplines from optimizing industrial processes to unraveling scientific mysteries, DPM applications are as diverse as the multiphase flows they simulate. Imagine a car cruising down the highway. Under its hood, fuel injectors precisely spray atomized fuel into the engine cylinders, a process meticulously optimized using DPM simulations to ensure efficient combustion and minimize emissions. 
In pharmaceutical research, DPM helps design inhalers that deliver life-saving drugs deep into the lungs, predicting the trajectory and deposition patterns of drug particles in the respiratory system. Step into a bustling factory and you'll likely find DPM at work in various processes. Spray dryers, used to produce everything from instant coffee to powdered milk, rely on DPM simulations to optimize the spray nozzle design, drying temperature and airflow patterns, ensuring uniform particle size distribution and product quality. In the energy sector, DPM plays a crucial role in designing efficient and clean coal-fired power plants, predicting the combustion behavior of pulverized coal particles and mitigating the release of harmful pollutants. Beyond industrial applications, DPM contributes significantly to our understanding of natural phenomena. Climate scientists use DPM to study cloud formation, simulating the interaction of water droplets and ice crystals in the atmosphere, predicting rainfall patterns and understanding the impact of aerosols on climate change. In astrophysics, DPM models the formation of planets from swirling disks of gas and dust, simulating the accretion process as particles clump together under the influence of gravity. These examples highlight the far-reaching impact of the discrete phase model. By providing a powerful and versatile tool to simulate multiphase flows, DPM enables engineers, scientists and researchers across various fields to design more efficient processes, develop innovative technologies and deepen our understanding of the world around us. As computational power continues to grow and DPM models incorporate even more sophisticated physics, we can expect even more exciting applications of this versatile tool in the future further illuminating the intricate dance of particles in our multi-phase world.